Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Pillow here. Welcome back to my channel. It's good to see you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also make sure you guys click on the bell icon below so you guys will get notified whenever I have a new video uploaded. And also make sure you guys smash the like button guys and also leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts, share your thoughts with me, all right? So today, our TikTok star, his name is Latina Jesus or Jesus, oh my God. <laughs> all right, all right, hold up, hold up guys. I'm totally playing around here. The correct pronunciation should be Latina Jesus or Jesus, oh my God. He currently has about 800,000 followers on TikTok and he's from the LGBT community. So make sure you guys give him some support. And as always, these are some of the videos that I really, really like about him. And hopefully you guys will like his videos too. And if you guys like him, please remember to go to his TikTok page to follow him and also he has a YouTube page also. So make sure you guys go there and follow him too, okay? So let's go guys! Jumping in the vent with a two dollar tent and who's you? My shawty pulling up with a real bad bitch, I wanna fuck you too. Jipping my swag, new Bontes, I'm new. <laughs> I love this video. Um, how many of you guys actually know somebody um, that if you get into a conversation, they will actually get scared and they will actually run away instead of having your back, right? So I actually love it that he actually has his best friend's back. I think this is the kind of friend that you guys will want. You guys don't want the people that will run away or that's like too scared to stand up for you. I mean, I hate those people. Those people aren't your friends. Right? Why would you want people like that? You want people like Jesus that will actually back you up if something were to happen to you. That's a true friend right here. That's a real friend. Bitch, like... This shit kind of made me look cute. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't agree with him more. Um, I don't know if this is like a feature in TikTok or something, right? Like, how does he doing that? How is he putting like the money sign on his face? That must be like some kind of special like effects from TikTok or something like that. But, you know, for me, I'm totally straight, but no homo here. But I'm digging your look. You look totally dope in this video. Yeah, loving it. <laughs> I couldn't agree with him more guys. There's no reason to be racist or homophobic. When I was growing up, a lot of my classmates, they were actually homophobic. So sometimes when I try to tap them on the shoulder or something just to get their attention, and they would actually like pinch me back or they would actually like try to, you know, like punch me a little bit. And I'm just like, bro, I'm just trying to get your attention. Like, what is your problem? They're all like, don't touch me. I don't like any guys touching me at all. I'm just like, are you serious, bro? Like, I'm just tapping on your shoulder, try to get your attention. And you're gonna, you're gonna punch me just like that? Like, you should go get yourself uh, checked by a hospital or something like that. Like, I just can't understand you. But yeah, um, there's a lot of people that are like that. And I just feel like it doesn't matter what your sexuality is. We are all just people. So there's no reason to be racist. There's no reason to be homophobic at all, man. Just to pretend that we don't have Oh, hells yeah. Um, the reason why I like this video is because they look so happy together. Like, I'm just digging the vibe. Like, they just look so happy. They look more happy than some of the straight couples too, you know? It's like, and, and I'm just digging this vibe right here because, um, you know, I like everybody to be happy and I feel like if everybody is happier, then we will have a better society and we will have a better world. Give me five, it's a vibe In the hood like drive by I ain't talking, waving hands Then I'm in Dubai, bye With the people
<laughs> yeah, I'm just digging this video too because of the vibe, right? He just seems so happy and I just love like, you know, the little dance that he did, the little gestures. Um, yeah, just like a totally positive vibe. We're just friends. So don't go look at me no. with that look in your eye. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking this video too. They just look so madly in love. Like the vibe that they're giving out, right? I mean, like how much they uh, love each other. Like I'm totally feeling that. And that's why I love this video too. <laughs> all right to all the beef lovers out there right like i'm actually one of them i love beef and number two i love seafood these are like the two things that i cannot go without like in this life ever beef and seafood especially like lobster shrimp and stuff like that like that's my favorite like damn like beef just hella good <laughs> um, this is totally relatable. Um, I came from China, so I'm an immigrant. And back in China, when I was in elementary school, I was getting whipped by my mom and she would always use like a bamboo stick and she would whip me super hard like sometimes my bruises will be there for like a week and i remember like this one time she got really really mad at me and for some reason i was in my tidy whities and she was just whipping the crap out of me right and she kicked me outside my house and we live in a condo and there was like a basketball court like down there right and i just went all the way down there in my tidy whities crying like a little girl for like at least like 30 minutes an hour while watching other people playing basketball <laughs> at the basketball court <laughs> yeah it was not a good experience but you know when you were a kid you didn't really care right <laughs> Don't ask me who I be on. I just try to hit it with my Gucci on. Netflix and chill, put this movie on. Yo, honestly, I'm digging those cheek piercing. I think it actually looks good on him. I think that could be a good look. Um, for me, I'm always into like piercings on girls. <laughs> um, probably not on myself, but yeah, I think if you have like a dimple on your cheek, I think it goes really, really well with some cheek piercing. Yo, who is this girl in, in this video? Like, she's so cute. Can someone tell me who she is? Leave a comment in the comment section below because she is so adorable. Oh my God. I think I am starstruck. Am. <laughs> am. <laughs> am. <laughs> All right, guys, so the reason why I thought this video was funny is because I've never seen anybody dressed up as a giraffe before. Like, how does that even work? It's just so hard. I mean, like, because the neck of the giraffe is, like, so long, right? And you, you have to be, like, a pretty tall dude or something to be dressed up as a giraffe. I don't know, but that's, like, the first time I've seen somebody dress up like that. Maybe I haven't been to, like, you know, Disneyland, Six Flags for, like, a while because I'm old. I don't know, but yeah, I just thought this video is pretty interesting. <laughs> so I like this video. I don't know if you guys are into politics or not. I'm not really that into politics, but I know that I hate Trump. Like that guy is just like kind of crazy right kind of retarded too like all the stuff that he's doing like he's literally just lying to people he's getting a lot of people killed right now um i would just love to see that guy gone like screw that guy oh. 
don't know what she was thinking. I know what I wanna see. I bust that pussy open, then I tell her bring it back. Bust that, bust that pussy open, then I tell her. Yo, this video is so hot, especially I'm loving like, you know, what the boyfriend was doing. He actually knew the song and also like all his like gestures. This is so hot. God damn, he's got some moves. You know he's a good dancer just by looking at the way how he moves. And you guys know who's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this brings back so much memories. My mom used to whip my ass a lot, like almost on a, I would say on a weekly basis, I would just get my ass whooped and I would just always be crying so hard behind the door or actually in my blanket. <laughs> so yeah, totally relatable, love his video. So yeah guys, here's all the videos about Latina Jesus or Jesus Oh My God. If you guys like his videos, make sure you guys go subscribe to him uh, on his YouTube channel as well as TikTok channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to me as well. And I will see you guys next time.